back on my blog for some more calculations that I've done. I'm trying to do this every day, every other day, um, to talk to you guys how chances of winning and how the whole tournament, projected tournament according to my ratings, uh, changes once a few games are played. I update daily on my blog, but I don't uh, do daily videos. At least I'm not planning to. Who's, who knows? Maybe I'll get to it. It's all on a time basis. So here is the latest uh, standings uh, based on who is the most likely World Cup winner. Of course, there is not much movement on the top. I mean, Brazil, Germany have not played. Spain played yesterday. Um, as we will see, this had minimal impact on what we expect for them. Uh, Portugal increased slightly. Um, what else do we see? Very minor movement here. I think the biggest one is that Morocco, who was just uh, two days ago uh, where Costa Rica is now, now dropped all the way to second to last place. Iran uh, surprisingly barely moved. So that's uh, also not too surprising uh, since they would need to get a result from Spain or Portugal. So the overall picture hasn't changed really a lot. Maybe Uruguay's probability went up slightly, but again, a very minor movement. Also, if you look at the individual groups, there have not been too many uh, changes. Now Uruguay is all but qualified. I mean, a very minor chance of not qualifying. Russia looks good, uh, especially thanks to the big win against Saudi Arabia. So Egypt will have to play catch up or get a result against Russia. I think a draw will be sufficient for Russia. Uh, in Group B, Spain's chances were minimally lowered. Portugal's were minimally um, raised. Iran looks now a lot better. Uh, Morocco is out unless they pull some upset against Spain or Portugal. All the other groups have not changed. Uh, and if they've changed so slightly that it is not worth mentioning here. Same as the expected tournament, I still uh, have um, a semi-final France-Brazil here. Um, the other one, Germany-Spain, and we have a Germany-Brazil final. Uh, again, very minimal changes in the probabilities because the ratings do change, because the ELO rating are updated every day. That's the one that really is changing after every game. Um, but let's go for one last time uh, quickly to the groups, uh, looking at group A to see it in the picture. What changed? So we had after Russia beat Saudi Arabia and let's zoom out a little bit. View, zoom, zoom out. Exactly, now we see it a little bit nicer. So these are the probabilities of reaching at least a certain stage, so they are decreasing. And we see that Uruguay uh, was overtaken by Russia after the win to just uh, go um, for qualifying for the, uh, to be at least third place. But uh, for qualifying, Russia got a boost from before, but Uruguay barely moved. And now after Uruguay beat Egypt, you can see Uruguay all but qualified. They even overtook Russia here and look really strong for qualifying the second round. So for now, these probabilities, that's the uh, one that we want to look at. Uh, going to the quarterfinals, uh, there have not been real big changes. This is more or less the same for uh, the top two of the group. We can do the same for group uh, B, but before we do that, just uh, the model predicted the a win of Russia and also the one of Uruguay. That was not uh, big uh, surprises either way. Uh, I failed in predicting the green jersey here. Going to group B, let's again look at the predictions. Uh, I really thought that the model is wrong, but they predicted, the model predicted the win of Iran over Morocco. So maybe we really should go with the models. If you've seen my uh, personal predictions, they have been everything but stellar so far, but that's expected. I think everyone who is making predictions, most predictions uh, do not come true. Uh, the draw, a draw is always the least like result, uh, especially such a high goal draw. So also uh, 
that maybe is a little failure of the model, but whenever there's a draw, it's not the most likely outcome. But let's look at how things change. So this was the situation prior to uh, the tournament with Spain and Portugal very close to each other, same as for Iran and Morocco. Uh, Spain and Portugal are still very close to each other and now Iran got a big boost while Morocco dropped and we see that yeah, those three, uh, Portugal, uh, Spain and Iran will be 1-2-3. Morocco is now um, set more or less for fourth place. Uh, qualification chances did not move for either Spain or Morocco, also, uh, Spain or Portugal. Also not surprising as uh, there's a draw. This didn't change their uh, position too much and they will take it from there. Uh, it's basically who will go first and, uh, and second and uh, what results will they have against the two winners in the group. That's it for uh, what are happening uh, yesterday and the implications on the tournament so far. So far not much has changed. Maybe there will be a little bit more upheaval today. Let me know in the comments what you think about all these and I will talk to you soon. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.